Good morning, Heart Rockets. Thank you for tuning in to KHRT News. Today is Wednesday, March 31st, 2021. Please stand for the pledges to the United States flag, followed by the pledges to the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Juro lealtad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América y a la república que representa una nación bajo Dios, indivisible, con libertad y justicia para todos. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one, and indivisible. Te honro bandera de Texas. Te juro lealtad a ti, Texas, un estado bajo Dios, uno, indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may be seated. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Um, today, for specials, it is a B day. And it is also our EAFK Wednesday, where we focus on the newest virtue, which is compassion. Compassion is number one, giving to someone who is in need. Number two, caring for someone else. And number three, being kind and generous to others. Today, we are going to focus on ways that you can show others that you care. You can start by asking people how they are doing, asking your friends, your teachers, and even your family. You want to make sure that you are really listening to them when they are talking. Sometimes people are so excited to share something that when it is their turn to listen, they completely ignore what the other person is saying. This is rude. And we want people to see that we aren't rude. Instead, we are respectful because we listen. One good thing to do is when you are listening is to make eye contact with the person. So you look the person that is talking, you make eye contact, <laughs> you, you um, look at them in, in the eye um, as they're talking and you're not fidgeting and you're not turning around, you're not moving, you're actually listening, you're being still and listening to what the other person is saying. Today in history, in 1885, Binney and Smith Company was founded in New York City. The company later became Crayola LLC. In 1918, for the first time in the United, the United States, daylight saving time went into effect. And in 1966, the Soviet Union launched Luna 10, which became the first spacecraft to enter a lunar orbit. And boys and girls, I also want to um, share with you um, on Friday, um, one of my favorite authors passed away at the age of 104. And who is that author? I'm, I don't know if you already know this or not, but it's Beverly Cleary. And she wrote all these wonderful, wonderful books that I just read uh, when I was in elementary school. Ramona Quimby. Um, there's so many books, Ramona and her father, Ramona and her mother, Ribsy was her dog. Um, Henry and Ribsy, all oh, these wonderful books um, Ms. Beverly Cleary wrote. And actually, she was actually a librarian too. Besides an author, she was a children's librarian. Um, so I totally, if you have not ever read a book um, by Ms. Beverly Cleary, please check one out. I know that Ms. Um, Byer will definitely help you select or help you keep reading Beverly Cleary books because they're wonderful, wonderful books. So we just want to, uh, I just wanted to give out that, give that shout out to Ms. Beverly Cleary as we will miss her 
but oh my gosh, she lived to be 104 years old. What a blessing. All right, boys and girls, and we're going to wrap up our announcements with the uh, four-way test. And here we go. And remember that compassion is the virtue that we are uh, learning about. So think about compassion. So say it with me. Of the things we think, say, and do, is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Will it be beneficial to all concerned? And we always wrap up announcements with our Heart Rocket Pledge. So say it with me again, loud and proud. Being a Heart Rocket means that I am responsible, on task, cooperative, kind, enthusiastic, and a team worker who is successful at everything I do. I hope everyone has a wonderful Wednesday. Remember that this Friday, um, April the 2nd, uh, is a student holiday. So students, you do not come to school. It is a student holiday on Friday, April 2nd. Have a great day, everyone. Today's announcements have been brought to you by me, Mrs. Tosh, your blessed and proud principal. Thank you. Bye.